In part three, we will create a data access class and create a get company information class that will be used to retrieve the information from the database. And now we're going to create our data access component that's going to be used to select the data from our database. Let's right click, add new item, a class, and we're going to call this company DAC. We're not going to be using link. We will be using the SQL Server libraries. Let's add, add our namespace. Seal this class. And we won't be using a constructor. So we're going, to, we're going to create a function that's called get company information that's going to return a SQL reader. So it's public. I'm going to make it static. SQL data reader. Return a SQL data reader called get company information. Let's create a SQL data reader. select statement create our command object passing it the sequ the select statement and passing it the connection that we created Connection manager dot get connection. Reader equals command dot execute reader. We're gonna we're gonna add in here command behavior dot single result because we're going to get a single result and whenever we're finished we're going to close the connection and then at the end we're going to return the reader in part four we will add a grid view to the asp.net page we will create the display company information method and populate the grid view with data. Now let's add, add a grid view and a label to our default ASPX file. I'm going to do it manually. Let's go ASP label ID equals Call it status. Run that server. And then grid view ID equals company. Grid view, run at equal server. So now in the code behind of the AXP, ASPX file, we're going to create a method to populate our grid view using the SQL Server li libraries and also using our namespace. So it's going to be a private function. It's not going to return anything, and it's going to be called display company information. We're going to use the try catch using 
SQL data reader equals our using our data access layer company information, which is going to execute our our select statement. And then write the data source as our reader that we get back from our function, and then we're going to bind it. We're going to catch any SQL exception. The final thing we want to do is in the page load function call the display company information and run it. And then it shows the data which we added in our database. In conclusion, we, we created a SQL Server database using Visual Studio 2008. We created a connection manager using C Sharp. We created a database layer using C Sharp. And we displayed that data in a grid view in ASP.NET using C Sharp.